National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, Wikipedia article audio. The National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, also known as the NARTH Institute, is a U.S. organization that promotes conversion therapy, a series of discredited, dangerous and unethical regimens that purport to change the sexual orientation of people with same-sex attraction. NARTH was founded in 1992 by Joseph Nicolosi, Benjamin Kaufman, and Charles Sokarides. Its headquarters are in Encino, California, at its Thomas Aquinas Psychological Clinic and has operated under the Alliance for Therapeutic Choice and Scientific Integrity since 2014. History Activities Sigmund Freud Award slash President's Award Affiliations Controversy Stances on the etiology and mutability of homosexuality Abba Goldberg Gerald Shine Wolf The consensus of the world's major mental health organizations is that homosexuality is not a disorder and that conversion therapy is pseudoscience. Critics have described the methods used by NARTH to attempt to change sexual orientation as abusive. NARTH was founded in 1992 by Benjamin Kaufman, Charles Sokarides, and Joseph Nicolosi. In an article titled In Defense of the Need for Honest Dialogue, Kaufman wrote that the three of them founded NARTH because the American Psychiatric Association and similar professional organizations had totally stifled the scientific inquiry that would be necessary to stimulate a discussion about homosexuality. NARTH's leaders argue that the political atmosphere had changed, making it politically incorrect even to suggest the need for a dialogue that considers the question of the normality of homosexuality. Kaufman states that NARTH was formed in response to censorship of scientific investigation of politically unpopular views. The organization had 501 tax-exempt status, which was revoked by the Internal Revenue Service in September 2012 due to ongoing failure to file required paperwork. NARTH claims to be a secular organization differentiating it from other ex-gay groups that are primarily religious in nature. Nevertheless, NARTH often partners with religious groups, such as Jews offering new alternatives for healing, Joel 225 International, and Evergreen International in positive alternatives to homosexuality. The NARTH website contains a resource list of theological articles. In July 2011, NARTH failed to pay its dues to the California Board for Behavioral Sciences and was removed from the list of groups that provide continuing education credits to therapists in California. NARTH had been an approved continuing education provider since 1998. Beginning in 1996, NARTH has given an award in recognition of a researcher's outstanding work, called the NARTH Sigmund Freud Award. In some years, the award is called the NARTH President's Award. The award is presented at NARTH's annual conference. Notable members of the Scientific Advisory Committee include Hillel Goldberg, Nathaniel S. Lehrman, and Jeffrey Satinover. Robert Perloff, former president of the American Psychological Association, was a notable supporter of NARTH. NARTH had several connections to Evergreen International and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Evergreen website referenced the therapeutic methods of NARTH founder Joseph Nicolosi as beneficial. Nicolosi worked with Aideen Bird to author several papers on reparative therapy. Bird also served as president of NARTH and also published an article in the LDS Church's September 1999 ensign. Additionally, 
David C. Pruden served as director of Evergreen and as an officer for North. Likewise, director of LDS Family Services Jerry Harris served in North leadership. In 2003, the leaders of Positive Alternatives to Homosexuality made North a member. The founders held that homosexuality is a treatable mental illness and that a person's sexual orientation can be changed through therapy. Sokarides in particular said in the mid-1990s that he had treated about a thousand homosexual patients, and cured over a third by dealing with the parental causes of an absent father and overbearing mother. On their current website North states that changes in sexual orientation through therapy are possible for individuals who report unwanted same-sex attractions and pursue psychological care, reporting that many able to achieve sustained shifts in the direction and intensity of their sexual attractions, fantasy and arousal that they consider to be satisfying and meaningful. Claims that pathologize homosexuality and state that it can be changed through therapy have been denounced by almost every major U.S. medical association, including the American Medical Association and the American Psychiatric Association. In 2006 the American Psychological Association declared that North created an environment in which prejudice and discrimination can flourish. The Southern Poverty Law Center has singled the group out as a main source of anti-gay junk science used by hate groups to justify anti-gay rhetoric. North has been accused of employing abusive methods to attempt to change sexual orientation by the Human Rights Campaign and Truth Wins Out. In 2010 it was revealed that North's executive secretary, Abba Goldberg, was a con man who had served 18 months in prison. North received criticism from the Southern Poverty Law Center for an essay titled Gay Rights and Political Correctness, A Brief History, written by Gerald Shine Wolf, a member of North's Science Advisory Committee. SPLC called it an angry polemic that made outrageous historical claims. The article had drawn a letter of protest from the National Black Justice Coalition a year after its publication. A month later, North removed the article from its website and posted a statement of apology. A later statement from North said that SPLC had mislabeled Shine Wolf as ex-gay and had made other erroneous claims about his essay.